what's going on everybody man i hope all you are having an awesome day uh today's topic man today's topic i want to uh touch on the promise of jesus and also the promise of the holy spirit real quick it's not going to be long <clears throat> uh, but I, I want to continue to drive home the fact pertaining to uh salvation eternal salvation uh as well please forgive the sound in the background my daughter is eating lunch watching tv so i hope you can hear me clear enough but um, I want to continue to drive home of eternal salvation, of us not being able to uh, lose our salvation. And for those who but who uh, have this preconceived notion that uh, you believe in eternal salvation or this once saved, always saved, that you can live in, in how you want to and sin and still get into heaven. And those who truly understand eternal salvation, we understand what's the biblical meaning, right? And I would also like to firmly believe that those who think that you know, eternal salvation means you can do what you want to do after being saved. They truly don't understand scripture, right? So this is my point of, uh, I'm, I'm not a teacher, but like I said, I want to continue to share with y'all what, what I've learned and hopefully that it blesses you and brings you understanding. You know, I'm, I'm, I don't I don't have this flashy channel with the cool edits and the intros. I don't have all that, man, you know, but uh, I do believe I'm on here because this is God's channel at the end of the day. And I'm here to help his people and to bless his people get a better understanding of the word of God. And and right now, especially today, uh, help many be secure in their salvation, knowing that they can't lose it, that they do have eternal life indeed, which is a promise of God. So uh, let's get to it. Uh, first, there is scriptural evidence that all true Christians will. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. First, there is scriptural evidence that all true Christians will persevere, right? You know, those who endure to the end shall be saved, uh, which I'll, I'll be talking about perseverance tomorrow, right? But those who are true Christians will persevere. Excuse me. In John 6 and 38, 38, in John uh, 6, 38 through 40, excuse me, Jesus says, I have come down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me, right? And this is the will of him who sent me the father, right? That I should lose nothing that I should lose nothing of all that he has given me. Right. But raised it up, but raised it up on the last day. For this is the will of my father, that everyone who looks on the son and believes in him should have eternal life. And I will raise him up on the last day. <clears throat> so Jesus said, this is the promise that I should lose nothing of all that the father has given to me. So the father has given us to the son. So we are a gift to the son, Jesus Christ, by the father. As the scripture says, we you can't come to the son unless you're drawn by the father. So those who've been drawn by the father have been given to the son as a gift. Now, for those who don't believe in eternal salvation, let me ask you this, does that make, does that make sense? We have been given to the we have been given to the son by the father. How could we lose our salvation? How could we lose eternal life when it is when it is the father who has drawn us to the son? It is the furthermore say that again, that we have nothing to do with our salvation. We are a gift to the son. And because we have been given to the son, the promise is, is that Jesus will not lose one. And Jesus hadn't every every single person who has been given, who has been a gift uh, to the son by the father have not been lost but for those who claim to be christians and have went away they were never of the faith they weren't a gift to the son by the father so let me keep going <clears throat> here jesus says that everyone um jesus says he uh jesus says that everyone who believes in him will have eternal life right he says that he will raise that person up at the last day giving that person eternal life with him Moreover, Jesus says that it is God's will. I'm going to repeat that, all right? Jesus says that it is God's will that he lose nothing of all God has given him. So all that the Father has given to the Son, not one has been lost. Not one has left uh, has lost their salvation, all right? Um, Jesus makes a similar promise in John 10, 27 through 29. My sheep hear my voice and I know them uh, and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they will never perish. Right. We're not talking about a, a physical death. 
they will never perish. I mean, they will never perish. They will never die being separated uh, from Christ. You feel me? And no one will snatch them out of my hand. Right. My father who has given them to me is greater than all. And no one is able to snatch them out of my father's hands. So really think about that. All those who have been given to the son, Christ has not yet lost one. And all those who are in the father's hands have yet to been snatched away. Right. All those who are truly in Christ, who are part of the kingdom of God, cannot lose their salvation. They cannot be lost. They cannot be snatched away, but they will be raised up on the last day. They will be given eternal life. Right. In John 10 and 28, specifically, Jesus says two things about his followers. Right. First, he says, no one will snatch them out of my hand. Second, he says they will never perish. Uh, these phrases taken together drive home the wonderful promise that those to whom Jesus gives eternal life will never lose that life. They would never lose that life. That what? Eternal life. They would never lose it because it's been given to them by Christ because they were what? Drawn by the father. Why? Because we are a gift to the son by the father, right? These are just two of the promises given by Jesus regarding the perseverance of the saints. Uh, from these two passages, it seems clear that Jesus understood that those who received eternal life from him would keep that eternal life for all of eternity, right? So we've been given eternal life by Jesus Christ and eternal life. Does it have somewhat to do like with uh, physical, like the life we live in now? Yes, we've been given eternal life for new creatures in Christ or part of the kingdom. Right. So it does have something to do with the physical, but eternal life has more so to do with the life after this one. Right. More so, more so to do with the life after this. And that's why we're giving eternal life. All right. Now, it says here the promise of the Holy Spirit and then we'll stop there. Right. So it says further evidence that God keeps Christians safe for eternity is the seal that he has placed upon us. So God has placed a seal. Right. Anytime you go to a store, any type of place, or you get an Amazon package, there's a seal, right? You go to the medicine department uh, at Walmart, there's some type of seal on it that has yet to be broken, right? Um, even when you uh, look at, um, what is it? <clears throat> the book of Revelation, right? There was a seal. There was a scroll that no one could open. And only Christ, right, was the only one who had the power and authority to break that seal and open the scrolls, right? So when you look at it, <clears throat> the same Christ who is able and the only one who has the power to uh, break these seals, to open these scrolls, is the same God that has us sealed until the day uh, of redemption. So if no one has the power and authority but Christ to open these seals of revelation, what makes you think anyone has the power to break the seal that God has sealed upon us, right? So let's keep going. The seal is the Holy Spirit within us. So we've been sealed by God, by the Holy Spirit dwelling inside of us. Paul in Ephesians 1, 13 through 14, writes that when we first believed in Jesus, we were sealed with the promise of the Holy Spirit, who is the guarantee of our inheritance until we acquire possession of it. So there's a uh, inheritance that we will uh, possess, not in this life, right? There's some things that we acquire in this life by being believers of benefits, but our inheritance, what we will receive is after this life. You feel me? So the Holy Spirit, who is the guarantee of our inheritance until we acquire possession of it to the praise of his glory, the inheritance promise, the inheritance promised by God includes all the further blessings of eternal life and a great reward in heaven with him. The seal or guarantee of that promise is God's very presence. The Holy Spirit present in every Christian, right? <clears throat> so here's the thing. How could one lose? How could one uh, lose their salvation when they have the seal of God living inside of them? Let me do let me, uh, another one. This is what my, my pastor, he gave an excellent illustration. Those of you who are familiar with the holiday season or whatever, uh, you have something on layaway. When you put something on layaway, you put some type of down payment on it. So this this new system or whatever costs three hundred dollars, right? 
you're not going to give the $300 right away, but let's say you give 150 you give the 150 and they put it in the back somewhere on layaway and you let them know hey i'm going to come back i'm going to come back with the rest of the money and i'm going to come back for that package that has my name on it because why i put some money down i put that 150 down and i'm going to come back and get what's mine and i'm going to pay the rest right so in this case all those who have been given to the son by way of the father right father has given us to the son as a gift Guess what? The Holy Spirit is a down payment. We, in a way, we're like on layaway. We, the Christ, Christ has uh, given us the Holy Spirit as a down payment. Sealed with the Holy Spirit until the day of redemption. You know why? Because guess what Jesus is saying? All those who have that down payment, all those who have the Holy Spirit dwelling inside of them, when the time comes, I'm going to come back for those who have uh who have my name on that package right when you come back and get that package off a of layaway it has your name on it you pay the rest and you get what's yours right so all those who have christ who have the holy spirit and spirit written on them guess what christ is going to do he's going to come back for those that bear his name he's going to come back for those that have that down payment upon them and all those that have the payment he's going to come he's going to snatch them you don't have to believe in the rapture that's whatever but he's going to come back for those who have the Holy Spirit. He's gonna come back for those who he have put a down payment on when the time is fulfilled. So you can rest assured, you can be confident that if you are truly saved in Christ, part of the kingdom, have the Holy Spirit living inside of you, sealed to the day, I'm sorry, uh, until the day of redemption, you can best believe that you belong to Christ. You can best believe that you are sealed, you are covered, you are signed, sealed, and delivered, and there's nothing nobody can do about it, nothing nobody can say. No matter how many times you fall, no matter how many times you messed up, God said you are his, that you have been sealed, you have been given to the Son, by the father you have been drawn to the son you have been drawn uh, by the father to to the son jesus christ that's it this has nothing to do with us this has nothing to do with what we have done we we don't endure we don't keep our salvation it has nothing to do with us it's because it is god it is a work of god salvation is a work of god not of man not of effort not of merit not of anything that we can do that we can be prideful or boast but it is a work of god and if you are truly saved, filled with the spirit, then that's it. You have eternal life and eternal life starts after. That's the promise. That's the promise. Is that if you are saved, there's a life after this one that we look forward to, that we anticipate, that we look to every day of uh, waiting for the coming of Christ. Amen. So I'm hitting 13 minutes, man. Um, I'm finished. That's it. I'm fired up, man. And I hope y'all are too. Hope that this bless you. Hope that encourage you. Uh, I love y'all, man. And y'all stay safe. My daughter's out here banging bowls on her table. Uh, but I love y'all, man. And um, I hope that is really it really edified y'all, man. So uh, um, be safe again and enjoy the rest of y'all day, man. Peace.